What's up? Today I'm going to be reacting slash reviewing the new drone show in Disney World. Josh, you're two weeks late. Yeah, shut your pie hole, okay? I know. I'm a slow content creator. Deal with it. You guys follow me. You should know this by now. So I'm getting this out of the way now. Yes, I do have a pimple right there underneath my eye, okay? Puberty sucks. I would get a pimple right under my eye. It's not pink eye. It is literally a pimple. Either way, drone show, two weeks late, I know. Coming to the 10.45 show. It happens at 9 and 10.45. I didn't come to the 9 o'clock show because I didn't want to deal with like crazy crowds because it's a Friday night. And I think that was a good call. I, I didn't wait that long to get into the parking garage. I always park in orange. I was a little nervous now with the show being here. It wasn't that bad. I came in the back ramp and they have the second and the third floor closed. So it's just uh, the top level and four. And the top level filled up because I think people are probably going to watch it just from the top level and try to leave. Um, so I'm in... Uh, the fourth level and there were still like a hundred spots. So not bad at all. It's a Friday night um, Just as a heads up There's gonna be some spoilers here if you're looking to see it and you don't want to see anything If for some reason you haven't seen anything yet, I'm um, good for you hop out this video I'm gonna show parts of it I'm not gonna show the whole thing So there's still stuff for anybody that still wants to see it to go see it um, But I'm gonna show some select scenes from it um, So spoiler warning now if you're looking to see it Get out of here. It is now 10.15. So let's get out there, see if I can still get a decent spot. Parked in level four, row 10. Don't let me forget it. A bunch of people on the speakers right now telling us the entrance is by House of Blue. Looks like there's a VIP area. I don't know how to get there. I ain't that big. I ain't that important. Like, all the way on down past the House of Blue, so you're gonna find the entrance to our lakefront water viewing area. If you're not going to the drone show, I think you'll be lost. So the entrance is actually over by like Cirque du Soleil, right by here, right by House of Blues. Um, there's a huge grassy area people are waiting in, but they're telling everybody it is a side angle. Um, so if you want a side angle and to sit in the grass, you can see it from over there. I'm going to try to get a better spot more like in the front, um, but we'll see. Sure, I got a drink. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. Baymax wins. Thrusters. Instant reaction right after let's talk about it. Um, that was really cool. That was really cool. 
I was wrong about that show. Um, and what I mean by that is I thought that it was not going to be cool, not that good, because Disney was offering it for free. They were putting it at Disney Springs where there'd be no admission. I thought if it was really going to be good, they would put it in a theme park. Oh, but it's really good. It's really cool. They do some awesome things with the drones, as you guys saw. And then there's still some cool things that I did like leave out as well. I got some like oohs and ahs from the crowd. Um, what I will say, um, it definitely, it's really good. It does feel still like a test. Like there's no real story. It's just kind of a bunch of cool characters, but a lot of like um, underrated characters are featured in that. But it does, it's definitely like you can tell they're testing it for something bigger, probably in a theme park. My ideal wish would be Animal Kingdom. They have that whole lagoon that they uh, don't use there, um, especially at night, and they can't do fireworks there, so a drone show would be really cool. I don't know how they'd get it there without going over guests, but um, that's where I think. I think it's going to play a part in some sort of theme park. Either way, really cool stuff. Um, really cool thing. Definitely something you shouldn't miss. Only con I will say is the back of Springs where it's at by the lake isn't really built for high crowd levels, so... The cast members and them, they do a good job. They organize the best they can, but it's still a little chaotic before and after the drone show. I think it was pretty easy for me because I was by myself. But if you were with like a family of five or more, definitely get there early. And then as soon as it ends, just hang tight. Let everybody kind of clear out. Give it like 10 minutes. And then I'd try to leave because it's pretty chaotic. And there's nothing they can really do. It's just kind of a confined area. Either way, though, really cool. I recommend it before it leaves. It ends in September at some point. Um, so definitely you should go check it out if you have the time. Definitely thinking from the cast members what I was talking to is the 1045 is the better one to go to. The 9 o'clock one has been packed. Um, so I can't recommend, I, I would recommend that if you have the time. Um, and like I said, when you go into it, the entrance is by House of Blues and Cirque du Soleil. There's a grassy area there. Everybody hangs out around it. That is the side uh, area. It's right by Haleo, right behind that. Um, towards the middle and I had a great view. I think anything along that railing is probably a really good view. The grass is still probably good, but it's definitely on the side. Um, or if you don't want to be in the crowds, you want to chill maybe on the rooftop at Coca-Cola. But if you want to hear the music and everything and get that full upfront experience, I recommend going um, to that railing. Now, like I said, I pulled up at like 1025 and found a spot that, but that was just for me. If you're trying, there was families trying to find places to squeeze in, they had to kind of split up to get a good spot. Um, so definitely come a little earlier to the show if you're looking for something like that. But if you're kind of just traveling you or maybe just a, your partner or anything like that, you probably can show up to that later show, like closer to the opening and get a good spot. Either way, great show, great job, Disney. I like that they have it for free. People have been complaining that the traffic at Disney Springs worse, obviously, because this attraction, but come on, we, we got something for free that's really cool. I'm not gonna complain about traffic, that's a natural thing. Um, and if you work around it, it wasn't too bad. I'll let you guys know how it is getting out of here um, when we get to the question of the week. But yeah, I, this is awesome. I'm glad they did something like this for free. Even though it definitely is a test for something bigger, it was a really cool thing. So I liked it. I'm gonna give it a solid 7.4 out of 10 on my review scale. Very good job. That's a review question of the weekend coming. Also, real quick, hey, I don't know if they watch, but shout out to the Braves fans who are in front of me. Um, I'm wearing my Philly shirt. They started talking some smack. Um, it was a good conversation. I think one of them followed me. Um, so shout out to them for following me. I didn't get you guys' names. It was a fun conversation before the show. Thanks for following. Thanks for having a cool conversation with me. I appreciate you guys. Shout out to you. All right, question of the week. By the way, uh, the traffic getting out of there was not that bad. I waited about five minutes. So anyway, question of the week. This one comes from Rachel from Instagram. Rachel asked me, can you just rank the four parks? What's your least and most favorite? Good question. It's hard for me to do this. It's constantly evolving and changing what it is. But right now, I kind of have it set in stone where I'm thinking. Four, I have Hollywood Studios. I love Hollywood Studios. It's not a bad park. Um, but it seems kind of like all over the place. It, it doesn't have a studio feel anymore. We got Toy Story. We got Star Wars. We got Tower of Terror. But there's no real like studio type feel anymore. So they kind of got to figure that out. When it gets more of an identity, that'll move up. Then I have Animal Kingdom at 3. The only reason it's at 3 is because it's only open till like 6 or 7 p.m. Animal Kingdom at night is my favorite. And it does not stay open that late. So it has to be at 3. Epcot comes in at number 2. I don't like all the things they just built in the middle there. kind of took away from Epcot a little bit to me. Um, but some of the festivals I enjoy and I love eating and drinking around the world. I go there for dinner all the time. So it's got to be at number two. And number one is the Magic Kingdom. I have the most memories at Magic Kingdom. Without Magic Kingdom, there would be no Disney World. 
so it has to be number one to me. Um, as much as I can gripe about it, and there's a lot I would fix, it's still my favorite theme park. The nostalgia there is amazing. The memories there are amazing. That's my number one. Thank you, Rachel, and thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next Thursday.